I've emphasized that pointers and addresses are an important feature of C. And so let's go ahead and look at how we might use them in a very simple program. So this is our memory map. Uh, again, this is the zeroth byte and higher bytes go, go up. Uh, this is the address zero, address four, address eight, address 12, et cetera. So here's our simple code. Uh, the first thing we do is we define an integer i. This tells the compiler it needs to allocate four bytes to hold that integer. And let's say that the compiler decides to put them here. Okay, so I'm gonna call that i. The next line here uh, defines what appears to be two more integers, one called k and one called star ip. So let's say that the compiler decides to put k right here. Okay. And now we've got this star ip. Although it might seem like another integer, star is not a valid character to use in a variable name. Variables have to only use alphanumeric or underscores in their names. So this star says something different is going on here. In particular, it tells us two things. One is that IP is the variable name, not star IP. And the second thing is that that variable IP has the type pointer to type int. IP is not an integer. It's a pointer to something that is of type integer. In other words, it holds an address of an integer. So just like we have four data types, char, float, int, double, we can also have different data types that are pointers to each of those data, ty data types. Okay? So this is telling us that IP is going to hold an address. All right? So I don't know how many bytes we need to hold that address. It depends on how many bytes you have in memory, how long the address has to be. So I'm going to not worry about that. And I'm just going to say that IP is allocated from byte 12 up to whatever it needs in memory. And those bytes are going to hold an address of an integer. Okay. Okay. So we've got our three variables: integer, integer, pointer to type integer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the next line. IP is equal to ampersand i. Now ampersand is also a special character, and ampersand is called the reference operator. It's called that because it creates a reference or a pointer or an address of the thing that happens after it. So it returns a pointer or address, same thing as we're using it. Okay. So what's happening here is it's going to say, OK, IP is equal to the address of I. So I here, the address we can see is 4. So that means that IP. The contents of IP is going to be 4, the address of I. So that's what happens in that line. Next line down, I is equal to 100. So that just takes I here and sets it to the value of 100. Next line, K is equal to star IP. OK, so star is another interesting character. It's actually dual to the reference operator. It's called the dereference. operator. And what it does is it returns the contents at a particular address. OK, so here where we say k is equal to star ip, what's happening is we take ip and we dereference it. So IP is 4. It's an address 4. We dereference it. So now we're looking at the contents in f at address 4, which is 100. And we set that equal to K. So K now gets the value 100. In the next line, we add 2 to K. So this changes to 102. In the next line, what we're doing here is we're taking the address of K. We're referencing it. So the address of K is 8. That's what's happening in the parentheses. 
And then after that, we're taking the contents at 8. And we're setting, setting i equal to that. So the address of k is 8. Take the contents of it. It's 102. So i is equal to 102. This changes the 102. This is just a complicated way of saying i is equal to k. Okay? But you can see the use of both referencing and dereferencing in the same line. And finally, in this last line, we're going to take the address of k again, which is 8. And we're going to set the contents there by taking the star or the dereference operator and then setting the contents equal to 200. So this changes to 200. And that's it. That's a simple program that uses pointers, both referencing and dereferencing. Referencing to get the address of a standard data type variable and dereferencing, which gives you the contents of an address uh, that's uh, contained in a pointer.